Right, we've talked on the show about how we hate fucking birds, right? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking all sorts of birds. Like, some birds are just aggro, like swans mainly. Swans, Again, I've got no time. We've had, we've, I've said this so many times, it's starting to become a bit of a meme now, but bring yeah. any bird that isn't yeah. from the dinosaur times and I'll fuck it up, man. I don't care. You can talk right. about how cool and hard these birds are. Fucking ostrich as well. All right, and I can snap an ostrich's neck. Come at me. I'm ready yeah. for him, man. So, um... This story was just mental, mate. Because now, seagulls... Seagulls are framing people for crimes. <laughs> <laughs> the seagulls are framing people. This is the headline. Mad, mad headline. Hotel forgives guest whose room was trashed by hungry seagulls. So a Canadian man was pardoned by a luxury hotel after his room was ransacked by a flock of pepperoni-loving seagulls 20 years ago. Nick Birchill was banned by the Fairmont Empress in Victoria, British Columbia, after a string of unfortunate <laughs> events. I'll say unfortunate <laughs> events in 2001. Right, so basically what he did was he went out and he got some something called Brother's Pepperoni, which is a delicacy in the place he was staying at. And it, he'd kept it at room temperature for a short time, and he wanted to cool the meat. So it, obviously it's out there in Nova Scotia, he just put it on the windowsill, right, just to make sure it was refrigerated because the room had no refrigerator. So he wanted to keep this pepperoni cool, so he put it on his windowsill. And he went out for a walk. And when he come back, there were 40 seagulls in his room. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> 40 they seagulls. moved in. 40 seagulls jacked up on fucking pepperoni, right? But here's the thing. Seagulls weren't meant to eat delicious spicy pork. And it wrecked their digestive system. Right, so basically they were shitting everywhere. They were like flying funny because they were like, "Oh, I don't know why I'm shitting so much." Um, he says here, the result in my room was a tornado of seagull excrement, feathers, pepperoni chunks, and large birds whipping around the room. The lamps were falling. The curtains were trash. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he says here. He waded through. <laughs> this line is fire. <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! Fucking birds! He waded through the birds and opened all the remaining windows. In his agitated state, he threw a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> He's thrown a shoe at a confused bird who tried to fly back <laughs> to the room. One confused bird. Both the shoe and seagull <sighs> went out the window. <sighs> Finally, only one large seagull with pepperoni still clasped in its beak remained. In a moment of clarity, I grabbed a bath towel and jumped it, he said, and I threw both out the window as well. So basically, he completely wrecked his room. And the hotel thought he just had a bunch of seagulls over for a party. <laughs> Why would that ever be a thing? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they, they banned him from the hotel. But now they've said, listen, it was a bit of a... Fair it was a bit of a... Yeah, it was a BG. So you can come back to the hotel. And you're welcome back with open arms. Come back here and make trouble again. Eh? It made What does it all mean?